Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. The topic is serum ketones test. Uh, but before starting, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos. And if you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. To subscribe this channel, you can click the red button just below this video, you know, red subscribe button. And uh, then you will see a bell icon. So you can uh, click that bell icon, you know, to, uh, uh, so this way you will uh, get a notification uh, from the uh, YouTube once I upload the uh, videos. You know. Thank you. The topic is serum ketones test. What is it? You know, uh, this test uh, determines the level of ketones in the blood. Now, what are the ketones? They are a byproduct which are produced when your body uses uh, uh, only fat instead of uh, glucose, you know, for energy. And the ketones are, are not harmful in small amounts, but if they are abnormally high amounts, then it's a different story, you know. Then we need to find out the underlying cause, you know, why it's causing that. Now, once the ketones, uh, uh, they accumulate in the blood, you know, the body enters uh, uh, ketosis. So, for some people, the ketosis is normal, you know. And the, the low carbohydrate diets can in uh, like induce this state, you know. And uh, it's sometimes uh, called nutritional ketosis, you know. And if you have type one diabetes, uh, you may be at the risk of diabetic uh, ketoacidosis, you know, which is uh, briefly known as uh, DKA, you know. And in case of uh, this diabetic uh, uh, ketoacidosis, uh, which is a life-threatening complication in which uh, your blood becomes too uh, acidic, you know, and uh, it can lead to uh, like uh, diabetic coma or death, you know, so it's a serious medical emergency, uh, which is known as diabetic ketoacidosis, you know. And, uh, you should contact your doctor or the emergency services immediately if you have the diabetic, if you have diabetes and have a moderate or the high reading for the ketones. So this is an emergency, you know. And there are some newer blood glucose meters which will test the blood ketone levels as well, so, you know. So otherwise you can use the, the urine ketone strips to measure the ketone levels, you know. And uh, in case of uh, a diabetic, uh, uh, like uh, 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 ketoacidosis, you know, uh, it can develop uh, like within 24 hours and can lead to the life-threatening situation, you know. So, so it's progressive disease, you know, so it's acute progressive disease, so you should be very careful, you know. And uh, this is an emergency, keep in mind. Now, it's rare. And uh, the people with the type 2 diabetes uh, can uh, also develop the this condition, you know. And some people may also uh, have like alcoholic uh, ketoacidosis uh, from a long-term alcohol abuse or uh, like uh, starvation uh, ketoacidosis from being from fasting too long you know so this can also happen you know and uh, you should call your doctor immediately if your blood sugar levels are high your ketone levels are moderate or high and if you are feeling like pain in the abdomen or if you're feeling uh, uh, like sick with cold and flu-like symptoms, you know, or nauseated and vomiting over four hours, you know, flushed, especially on the skin, you know, or shortness of breath and breathing rapidly, you know. So, which are a sign of serious emergency. 
so you should contact your doctor or emergency room uh, uh, emergency room straight away you know don't waste the time and, and uh, you may have uh, like uh, the fruity or the metallic scent in your breath you know in your breath you know and uh, the blood sugar level more than 240 uh, milligrams per deciliter okay so all of these symptoms can be warning symptom of uh, uh, like uh, uh, DK you know which is diabetic uh, uh, ketoacidosis you know uh, well are there any com how to prepare this test uh, uh, prepare for this test and any complications well there are no complications associated with test your doctor or nurse will take a small sample of the blood from your arm and it will send it to the lab so there's it but there may be a little bit bruising or a little bit bleeding a little bit pinch kind of pain you know so otherwise there's no complication associated with this while taking the sample you know and the next thing is what is the purpose of the serum ketone test you know well uh, your doctor will use this test primarily for the screening of uh, diabetic ketoacidosis but uh, they may order to diagnose the alcoholic ketoacidosis as well or maybe starvation as well you know and uh, the pregnant woman with the diabetes will often uh, take the urine ketone test if uh, uh, their meters are not able to read the blood ketones levels to track the ketones frequently you know and the serum ketone test which is also known as the blood ketone test you know it looks at how much ketone is in your blood you know, at the time you know and your doctor can test the three known ketone bodies separately they include like uh, aceto uh, acetate uh, beta hydroxy butyrate and acetone you know so these are the three different uh, uh, bodies ketone bodies which can be and detected you know and the results are uh, interchangeable which means that they can help to uh, uh, you know they, they are helpful to diagnose the uh, conditions you know and in case of uh, beta hydroxy butyrate, uh, butyrate rate you know uh, which indicates that uh, uh, diabetic uh, ketoacidosis and accounts for 75 percent of ketones you know and the high levels of the acetone indicates the acetone poisoning from the alcohol you know and the nail polish remover right alcohol or paints are the nail polish remover and you should test for the ketones if uh, you have the symptoms of uh, ketoacidosis such as uh, like uh, excessive thirst fatigue and fruity breath you know and uh, if you are sick and have an infection you know or have your blood glucose levels above the 240 milli, uh, uh, milligram per deciliter you know and then drink a lot of alcohol and eat uh, like minimally you know so in that case you uh, I should get tested you know uh, the next thing is uh, uh, what does the results mean to you uh, the interpretation of the results you know you know when your test results are available uh, then your doctor will review the results with you and uh, this may be uh, at the follow-up appointment you know or maybe if there are normally uh, high or low results you know he will call you to discuss the results you know or maybe call you on phone you know and uh, you know The serum ketone readings if it's 1.5 or less uh, it's normal you know but 1.6 to 3 means that uh, there is something going wrong and uh, it should be checked again you know so repeat those results within two to four hours you know and if it's over three uh, which means uh, uh, you should uh, it's extremely high is warning sign and you should go to the emergency room straight away so less than 1.5 it's normal 
if it's between 1.6 to 3 which means that you need to repeat the results again you know just to confirm that this is the right uh, uh, result you know and if it's over 3 just it's the emergency go to the emergency room straight away immediately okay and the high levels of the ketones in the blood can indicate like uh, diabetic ketoacidosis starvation or uncontrolled serum glucose levels and alcoholic uh, ketoacidosis you know. all right now uh, you can still have the ketones even if you don't have the diabetes you know and uh, the presence of the ketones tends to be higher in people who uh, like uh, who are on a low carbohydrate right you know or who are alcoholic or uh, who have the eating disorders or uh, the treatment for one you know so uh, you may want to consider them with your uh, blood sugar levels you know and uh, the normal blood sugar and uh, levels for someone without diabetes is 70 to 100 mg per dl you know before eating and 140 up to 140 uh, after two hours of eating okay uh, the next thing is uh, result uh, interpretation you know well there was the if it's more than so what should we do in case of the abnormal results you know uh, drink more water and the sugar free drinks and uh, uh, don't exercise so these are the things that you should do immediately if uh, your tests are high you know and you may also need to call your doctor for more insulin you know and uh, you should go to like uh, uh, emergency room you know uh, if you have them more than three if your uh, result is more than three you know, so you should go to emergency room straight away thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Goodbye.